Sonar is free to use and can be downloaded from SteelSeries website. I'll put a link down below. It works with any headphones and you don't need any SteelSeries gear, but you will need to create an account to join the early access. Once installed, you'll see some news about Sonar, click on it and you're ready to go. When you first set it up, you'll need to choose the output that you use. Once that's done, you reach the main page of Sonar. Under the gaming tab is where the magic happens, and there's already a preset called CSGO that you can use right now. Sonar is basically a fancy equalizer with presets. With these circles, you can control the volume of the frequencies, which changes the sound of the game. Sonar also creates virtual audio devices. This means TeamSpeak, Discord, the game you're playing, and your microphone can be set up differently, which is very convenient. You can see the sonar outputs being used. If you wanted to reset back to your normal sound, just set your normal output as default device. The people at SteelSeries have created this preset in order to help distinguish important sounds in the game. They've also lowered the volume here at the 2.99 kHz frequency, which is specifically the flashbang explosion. Using sonar will not trigger any vac bands since it only modifies sound and not the game. You can play around with this however you want, but I'm just going to use the preset. So here's with and without Sonar's CSGO preset with flashes. And now I'm just going to play some deathmatch so you can hear the difference. Let's start with the pros. On the website, it's promoted to help you hear footsteps, reloads, and bomb plants better than ever. With my Sennheiser Game 1 headset, I was never missing important sound cues, but with sonar, it made them easier to distinguish. All the unnecessary bassy stuff is less bassy, which made the game a bit more relaxing to play. The sound quality got worse, so the preset might not be your thing, but let's talk about the con. I would have never picked it up if I wasn't syncing footage inside Vegas Pro, but you can see that the sonar processed audio is delayed by roughly 2 frames. With my project settings and footage at 60 FPS, that's roughly 33 milliseconds. At least we're only talking about audio here. Anything else, visuals and input lag, all that stuff, still the same. And if you're worried that sonar will cause system performance drop, I tested it just for fun, but the answer is no. The tiny margins are just random inconsistencies due to the low sample size. Sonar works as intended, it's packed with audio features, and it's free to use. You can set up the equalizer the way you want, and it's got preset for multiple games. If you're someone who's sensitive to loud volumes at specific frequencies, or you just want to increase sounds to hear things better, you can do that inside Sonar. And the fact that you can separate the sound in-game so it doesn't sound the same on Discord and TeamSpeak is very useful. I haven't even covered all the features, but this is definitely a big deal for competitive players. After a couple hours of use, I see more positives than negatives overall. And if it isn't obvious, I am not sponsored by them. But they're welcome to send me some stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like the video to support my content. Stay awesome and go bananas.